who in your life are you trying to please? Meaning, who in your life are you trying to hear the magical words I'm proud of you, right? Like, are there certain names on that list? Now, you may say, I don't need to please anybody. I do. I have a list, and I'm very comfortable with it. And you should have a list as well, and some tells me you do. But let's unpack this whole concept of who to please, who not to please, and what happens when you succeed. If you get value from this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. So I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Aura. This is very important for you to take advantage of a service like this. You know, my son's Instagram right now, I'm going back and forth to getting his Instagram account back. My sister had her Instagram taken down. We have a bunch of people in-house here. When they went on Aura.com, one of our guys had 41 of their passwords on the dark web that others are using. This is becoming a very common thing right now. $53 billion is how much it costs last year on cyber crime. Cyber theft today officially passed robbery, home robberies. First time ever in the history of America that this is happening. And for you to protect yourself, I highly recommend you take advantage of Aura. One, it secures your online accounts, IDs, and personal info. Two, prevent financial losses with fast fraud alerts. Three, stop viruses from stealing your info. And last but not least, keep your online activity secure and private. So to take advantage of this, go to Aura.com forward slash Valuetainment to get a two weeks free trial. Once again, Aura.com forward slash Valuetainment, you'll get two weeks free. As we succeed, as you succeed, somehow, some way, you can have more people in your life. Because with more success, you have a bigger team. You need more people to help you out, right? So you got more team members, more support, more customers, more clients. It's just kind of how this thing works. And when you start winning, you're in new communities, you make new friends. You know, if you get married, you know, her friends, his friends, your friends, kids, parents, kids, friends, parents, you're in all these different communities, right? And then, you know, gradually what happens is you reach a certain level, which is kind of confusing for certain people. It's called guilt management. And so some of the people who maybe you knew when you were in high school, I got a message from a guy, like I get messages from guys from high school. Do you remember we were best friends? And I, I remember people, I don't remember this guy being best friends. I think we had one class together and I know my friends that were close friends with, we were, you don't have time for anybody. You don't have time for this. Guilt management, guilt management, guilt management is gonna happen to you over and over and over and over again. What do you do with that? You're winning, you have more money, you have more success. Oh, you've changed, all you care about is money. You follow yourself. Now, sometimes it is true, sometimes it's not. Sometimes money just makes you more of what you are. If you were full of yourself when you were 17 years old and you were an asshole, now you're 42, you're full of yourself, you just got more money. You're still full of yourself. But if you were chill, you were cool, you were good to be around when you were 17 years old, you're just chill, cool, good to be around, you just were 10 million, 5 million, you just have more money, right? That's money's gonna make you more of what you are right now. So how do you handle this guilt management? How do you man manage all these people that you're trying to please? Just because you succeed and you know more people, the amount of people you please should decrease. Sunday night, I'm sitting down having a conversation with Mario and Mario just got married and you know, we're having a conversation about uh, uh, what things he has to do now to make sure his marriage works out. He becomes a good father, he becomes a good husband, he becomes a good leader. You know, you can't try to please everybody in your family at what cost? Your marriage? At what cost? Your relationship with your kid? No, I want to make my kids proud. I love my kids, a lot. I wanna make these four kids proud, right? I don't care to be perfect. So if they're gonna be like, solve me to be perfect, I don't solve for perfection. I don't have the standard of perfection for anybody in my life but I want you to become a leader. That's my standards, right? But I wanna make my kids proud. I wanna make my family proud. I wanna make my, you know, a, a, a short list of people that matter to me proud. It's not a long list, it's a short list. The most people, the people that are 100% loyal to our vision, it's very important to me to make them proud because that's a relationship and it's very emotional. For you to buy into the vision of what we're doing, whether I ran an insurance company or I'm running a media company, it doesn't matter. If you're 100% loyal, I wanna make you proud. To say you made the right decision being loyal to the cause and helping the company get to the next level. Those people matter because it takes a lot of effort to be at that level. But do I wanna please everybody? No. Do I wanna please every you know, person that's ever been in our lives? No. Every relative? Definitely not. Why not? It's impossible. It's impossible. You try to do that, you will not live a happy life. Other people will try to get suck all the energy out of you. You will not live a happy life. 
You know who you should never explain yourself to? You know this whole concept of tell. So tell me why you were late. I got into a car accident on the way here. Here's a picture. Here's where I was at. Look at the time at the top, 7.38. Pat, I'm never late. You know what? You're right. Cool. You good? Everybody good? Everybody, Pat, everything's good. I'm here. I'm going to get the things done. You mind if I take an hour to go get the car situated? Because I need do your thing because there is that, right? Now, people who you can't ever do anything right in their eyes, guess what? Never explain yourself to them. Let me say this one more time to you. People in your life that you can never do anything right in their eyes and they use guilt against you, never explain yourself. Can I ask you guys why you did that? No, we just did. Everything else good? No, I wanna know what happened. No, I don't need to explain it to you. We made our choice because of this reason and you move on. But the people you love, the people who have your back, the people that are loyal to you, the people that go above and beyond for you, the people that believe in you, the people that challenge you, if they're able to reason with you, hey, can I ask you why the deadline didn't happen on, we screwed up, man. It's all good. Can we make sure we hit it tomorrow? We're probably going to hit it tomorrow. Next time, can you tell me if you got too much bandwidth that you can't handle, like your bandwidth isn't there? Let us know because it's important for us at the time. Totally get it. I screwed up. My fault won't happen again. Great. When two people reason and you explain solutions you know, you come up with a solution. When two people can't reason and one's using guilt, you're gonna be constantly feeling like you're the idiot here. You're not, this person's using guilt against you. Only reason with people that have the ability to reason. Make sense? So, going back to it, you succeed, more people enter in your life, phenomenal, awesome. Fewer people you should try to please and uh, that list should be a very, very small list if you wanna enjoy the process of doing something big with your life. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one for you to watch titled, I Wish I Knew This Earlier. Click here to watch it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.